It's October 25th, Sunday. I think it's the 25th. Um, I'm trying something I don't think I've ever done before, which is a week in the life vlog. So I'm gonna take you along through this week with me as I create fun merch, which you will get to see very soon. And I will also take you through with me editing my book, editing YouTube videos, all the things that go on. I'm gonna try to show you what a typical week in my life looks like. I would say a week in the life of an author, but every author is different. So this is what my week looks like. How the heck do I get a background? What's happening? Looks like I have a crown. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Sundays are kind of touch and go. There's no real sure thing, except that I try to take a day off and hang out with my husband. And so he had something he had to do for an hour. So I decided that was just enough time to film a YouTube video. So I did the NaNoWriMo tag that just came out. Like I have my face on, um, you're probably not gonna see me with makeup on for the rest of the week. Um, but today I was like, I'm looking kind of cute. So I might as well take advantage and film video real quick. And now it all depends on if my husband wants to take a nap or not, cause he likes to nap and I hate naps. I don't do well taking naps. They always make me more cranky than anything. So I could use another hour to write if he decides to do that and work on fixing this big old um, plot hole that I fi finally figured out last night. It took me, I was sitting on this thing for three days and I was starting to be like, am I ever gonna figure out the solution? I don't know what to do. And then last night I had this burst of inspiration and so I've already written, hold up. I've got a fresh writing tracker. Yeah, this was yesterday, 642 words. And here he comes, so I'll go for now. <laughs> Wish I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Everyone always keep on I'm gonna like hide my zip from you guys <laughs> Mosin had another errand he had to run So he's guesstimating like an hour I'm like again, that's enough time to get something awesome done So I made myself some hot chocolate I'm gonna go and try to work on rewriting at least one if not two or more scenes right now for Nezrin. So, here we go. The only one who's feeling this pain when there should be two of us. And yeah, I know we both wanted different things, but letting go just comes easy and you don't know. Why am I the only one who's left in a red aim? If I had an option to be someone else. Okay. Oh, Pens, I can't see your whole cute face. Let's move this out. All right, it is Monday, October 26th. I debated um, sharing this in this video because it's not the point. Like, this video is supposed to be what a work week is like, and I want to share the merch that I'm working on with you and what editing is like and all that good stuff, but. I was thinking, you know what, this is real life. This is what it's actually like sometimes. There are hard days. And if I didn't share this with you, it would just, I'd just be making like a highlight reel versus real life. So today's just been an off day and they happen sometimes. They happen to everyone for different reasons. For me, I was editing last night and then, I don't know, it was, it was like mid editing. It occurred to me that it was, a anniversary of losing someone and um, their passing and so it was just really really hard and uh, I am struggling to get back into it today my eyes are swollen still and it's just what it is so just what it is and um, I'm not my personality doesn't like to let things interrupt my plans, you know, I'm a planner and I like to have things done the way I plan to do them. So I'm just trying to learn how to be flexible, I guess. And my little buddy here, you can't really see her, but she's cuddling with me, right babes? You're the best, you're my sweet girl. 
Gosh, it's hard to get out of this headspace. It's just not helpful to creating, let's just say that. But um, Penny, I think we should give them a little hint at what the merch is about. It's gonna be Corgi merch. Something to be excited about, right baby? Right? You wanna leave? Okay. I did get some edits done last night. I fixed the Nezrin timeline because her whole thing just was not working at all. And I rewrote something and then I rewrote it all the way through her timeline and her chapters. It's so much better now, but I still have another eight chapters for other character POVs that I need to work on today. And I wanna send out the chapters to betas today, if at all possible. And so I need to get going. I need to just, I think I'm gonna put on some worship music and just push through. But again, I am not sharing this so much to talk about my grief, cause I don't want to, and I would appreciate if you would not talk to me about it. I'm sharing it more generally to share that, um, especially with things like Instagram, you can see a highlight reel and you can see that it looks like everyone has it all together and nobody has it all together. Everybody is dealing with something. We all have things we're going through. Nobody's life is as perfect as we might think it looks from the outside. And so I think it's really important to be genuine in this video and tell you that. I think it's all coming out a little bit fuzzy because of the headspace I'm in, but I hope that makes sense and I hope it encourages you. And I probably won't check in again today. <laughs> I didn't plan for this video to go this direction, but um, I hope it encourages you. That's the goal of sharing that not everything is perfect all the time. It's not to get sympathy or talk about it because I don't want to. I have, I have been talking to my amazing friends today. They are so incredibly wonderful. I appreciate them so much. I want to open up the conversation about how everybody has hard days and it's hard to create on a hard day and that's okay. Like, I just think that it's good to talk about it and have a conversation around like, it's okay to not be okay <laughs> and to not create sometimes and to respect that part of yourself. Like we, there's a lot of times, and I've done videos on this too, where we do push through writer's block, but then there are other seasons and other times when it's good to give yourself grace and to take it easier and take care of yourself. So. I thought it'd be important to share this because I want to encourage you guys that if you're going through anything, you're not alone and it's not a bad thing to take care of yourself first before the book or whatever else. It can also help to get a little therapy pup because they're the best. Sometimes they just want to play laser. They don't want to cuddle. They just want to go play laser. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm going to go do that. It's a good distraction. And then I'm gonna get back to writing. Let's do this. It is about 8.30 at night. I have just finished, this is a Google Doc. I'm like blocking it so you can't see the chapter. But I just finished sending this to beta readers. So I have like my notes to them and any changes I made um, based on their notes on the previous round. And then I have every couple chapters, I have a little question form which looks like this, this cute guy. Oh, I just ask questions like the stuff that I've shared in my videos on beta readers, which I'll link below if you're curious. 210 words today, deleted some. I'm at 72,183. So it was a successful day overall. I ended up sending less chapters to my beta readers. I decided to take it easier on myself. Sometimes it's, I just have to learn to slow down. And uh, this is one of those times. It's Tuesday, it's around five o'clock, I think, because someone's asking for supper. I probably only worked a couple hours today because it's just another, it's another off day. And the thing is, like, when you're doing creative stuff and you try to force it on an off day, it just makes things worse, it doesn't go well. I will have to make it up another time. But I've got my bullet journal here. Today I did edit the YouTube video, which is going to be the NaNoWriMo tag. Probably did like an hour so far doing what they call rough cuts, where you are just splicing it down to like a general idea. And then I like to do another run through that's more detailed and I add sound effects and I add what they call overlays 
or b-roll or whatever you want to call it just like other images and other video to make things more exciting and usually like little title text things if they are you know applicable and then i'll do like a third pass after all of that which usually can take a couple hours if i'm being really detailed and i'll just do one more like final watch through because i usually miss some things and it can get awkward if you put up a video online where you're like oh i forgot to cut that really awkward part out or that really long space or something now i'm recording this video obviously talking to you guys and i have put off a lot of things today i'm going to um just worry about it tomorrow and leave it till then. And then I'm gonna go out to dinner with friends because I really need to see some friends tonight and I just need to get out of this funk and it'll be really good for me, so. Creativity is such a roller coaster, you guys. Just gotta ride the ride. So no writing today in case that wasn't clear. Probably not tomorrow either. Sometimes it's nice to do other creative things to just take a break from something where you feel stuck, which I kind of do, honestly, with the Enchanted Crown. I just need to step back for a minute and then come back to it with fresh eyes. I think that'll help. I should add that just full transparency, I am watching Netflix right now until I go out and I have been for the last couple hours and I slept in and I just took it easy. Not every day is wake up morning routine everything is sunshine and rainbows in fact it's almost never that way because i hate mornings <laughs> but and i don't have a morning routine at all for those who are curious like i try and i always fail if you're hungry shake on okay all right let's go get food i'm gonna go feed the little girl and then i'm gonna go out to dinner with my good friends and remember life You can see my two laptops here. This one is the one that's dying, but it still has Microsoft Word on it, and this one doesn't. It keeps dying on me, and so I have to switch to this one, and this is the one I use for editing videos, so that was probably more than you cared to know, but I was just laughing that it looks like I'm super techy in the background there, but that's just because this one is on its the last last leg anyway it is wednesday october 28th and it's not even lunchtime yet and i've been up for hours i've been up since seven it's freaking me out because i'm like there's so much day left i don't know what to do with myself because honestly my sleep schedule is really weird i've been joking that i'm reverse cycling like like a baby there was a point for a while there that i literally couldn't sleep until five or six in the morning and then i'd make up for it by getting up at noon so i feel like i just I just broke the pattern and I fixed myself because I was so tired last night. Literally, I think that's why I was feeling so off is partly because I was just weeks of not getting enough sleep and I finally went to bed at a normal time. And well, I shouldn't say anything just yet. It's been one day, but anyway. Today is going to be probably another kind of catch up or catch all day because honestly i don't write every day i've talked to you guys about this before um but even now when i'm on deadline i still don't don't write every day because um writing takes a lot of focus today i am i gotta look i literally don't know all right so i have my mastermind at noon and i gotta tell you i am not the type of person who i don't like live streams i don't i hate phone calls like it doesn't matter how much i love a person it's really stressful to me to get on a call or a live stream in most cases, but this mastermind has become such a comfort zone. And so like, it's the one thing in my week that is guaranteed and consistent. Everything else, it's like, who knows what's gonna happen? Every week is different. But every Wednesday at noon, we have our mastermind and it's like meeting with coworkers. And so because writing is so solitary, just having writing friends, people you can bounce ideas off of and business ideas too, it has been just shocking to me how helpful it's been. I didn't know what I was missing. I, again, was very hesitant to do anything like this because, again, I don't usually enjoy just being real with you guys. It's not really my thing. I don't really like phone calls, but I don't know if you have anything like that in your life, but if you do need a place to find other writer friends, I always say NaNoWriMo. 
fantastic place to do that. And also, you are always welcome and invited to join my Patreon if you ever want to meet new writers there. We have this whole Discord group for patrons where everyone hangs out and you can get to know other writers and potentially you know, meet beta readers or find a critique partner or just people to talk writing with and brainstorm with and all that good stuff and writing sprints and you name it. Which reminds me, I should probably pop into the Discord today and hang out with everybody there for a little bit. Oh, <laughs> all the stuff I put off yesterday. So I would need to write that newsletter, then I will promote it. And eventually tonight around midnight, I think I will send that newsletter. And to send it, I really need to get, um, those remaining care package options up on the website, which means that the first thing I'll probably do right now after I talk to you guys is I will go to my office and take some pretty pictures of the remainder stuff. Uh, I wanna call my grandma and I also want to do laundry. There's always laundry, you know what I'm saying? Always. And then I actually really want to get back into the habit of exercising. So I'm going to start treating exercise as the focus is getting healthy it's getting more fit. It's going to be about making myself feel good. I'm telling you guys, even though it's not writing related at all, I'm telling you a bit for accountability and a bit to encourage you if you've been in the same boat that it's never too late to start. <laughs> I keep telling myself, oh, I missed my shot. I'll do, I'll start next Monday, but I'm starting midweek. Today is, today is Wednesday. I'm trying to get better about how much I put on my plate. So like normally I would also put edit the book and edit the YouTube video, which I probably should try to edit the YouTube video some more. It's nice to do that in pieces versus all at once. Sometimes I write a to-do list as if I have 48 hours instead of 24 <laughs> to get all the things done. But at this point, I am just rambling, aren't I? So I'm gonna cut this off, go get the newsletter done and the photos and the website and the exercising and you name it, all the other things. And uh, I'll let you know. If I get even half of it done, that'll be good. All right, it is October 29, about 2.32 p.m. So this is what I've worked on so far. I published the YouTube video. I did a post about it. It was revealing the care packages, if you're curious. And so then I had a note to share all the stories and posts that I've been saving from you guys of the care packages. And I also wanted to share that I had a couple extra, which I think are gone by now, but you can always check my website to see what's there, just in case. And we have some miscellaneous stuff that's more like life. And I'm right now editing the YouTube video. So let me just show you where I'm at here. So I'm probably in the third or fourth hour. Let me mute that. So what I've done is I've added overlays. That's all this imagery stuff on top. Now I just need to paste in my end screen stuff and shout out my patrons, make a little graphic for them. I like to mix it up and try different things. And I like to add music along the bottom, just really subtle underneath. So those are my last two steps. Then the next step will be to export this video and get the file and put it over on YouTube. If that all happened to get done, I would also like to get started on editing chapters today, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. Today was a really good day. Just to catch you guys up, I almost got everything done. The only thing I was pushing off to tomorrow is working on the book. And that's because honestly, I didn't think that I would get that done anyway. I feel like I'm getting back into the zone, had a really good work day. And tomorrow, as you can see, I will be getting into the editing. And so my goal is gonna be three chapters a day to hopefully finish the next section before Monday. But I'm just gonna show you what I've actually been working on tonight, which is the merch store. And so now keep in mind, this is just me playing with it, but I wanna use the PNG of the cute, cute Corgi as like a banner of sorts. And I have my author name. I'm not sure if I should use my author name or make up some kind of store name. And then I have my books there because I think I'm gonna try doing merch with books. So there's nothing in the store yet. As you can see, there's just these little placeholder icons and I'm working on some designs like this one right here. Starting off our morning this Friday, Friday, right? Yeah. With a little play time, taking it easy, right? Yes. 
And he's like, I'm not taking it easy. I'm so serious. Today's gonna be an editing day and I really can't say how long or how difficult it will be. It could be end up being really easy and quick because maybe the chapters are pretty good shape, are in pretty good shape, but maybe they will need some heavy rewrites. I know that at least certain ones will because I am, without giving any spoilers, changing where a character is location wise so if i have to rewrite all the times that i say that they're one place into being ouch in another place <laughs> then yeah it could it could take a while but it might be good it might be good for the story it should be good for the story that's why i'm doing it so we'll see hi cookie last one and then i gotta go right okay last one ready go Way to the post office to deliver the last of the extra care packages because I had those extra mugs I told you guys about and it is officially sold out. I'll be right back. You stay here. I like to just leave the car running. So yeah, get all that done, Penny. Oh, I haven't updated you guys. I have edited four chapters out of, I think, 10 that I wanna do for this round. So I think I'm gonna keep going because it's only, what time is it? Oh, it's five o'clock, never mind. It's time for food. It's five o'clock, that's your supper time. We're gonna go home and get you some food. And I think then I will just edit chapters until Mosin gets home. And then tomorrow, if I manage to get lots of editing done today, then tomorrow I can spend on editing or on filming, I mean, YouTube videos. So that'd be really cool. All right, now I'm just rambling. So I'm gonna let you go. Penny and I are gonna get home, get some food and keep working. All right, it's officially dark outside. So you get the shower background view for the lighting. But we're gonna go out to dinner tonight, so I decided to change out of the sweatshirt thingy into something a little more date night and put my face on. It's been a pretty productive day. I mailed all of the orders on my website, so that's up to date, and I edited four chapters. And so I'm thinking that maybe if I can edit one more before he gets home, then I'll have done five today and I can do five tomorrow. Of course, then it'll be very difficult to film YouTube videos. So let me bring you guys, what's going on here? Okay, let's see if I can use the last bit of light so this isn't totally dark. I forgot to say this earlier, but I've been thinking about why it was so hard for me to get into the, hi, you think I'm talking to you? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I've been thinking about why it was so hard for me after pushing really hard on Monday to get back into it on Tuesday and Wednesday. And I had kind of two really burnt out feeling days. And I think I'm starting to recognize more when I'm in burnout and starting to realize that I can't keep pushing when I'm starting to burn out and I need to take it easier. So even though it was kind of weird to give you guys like more relaxed days and not give you a super productive 
you know, week in the life. This is honestly, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. This is what it is to be a creative. There's ups and there's downs and it's just what it is. And I feel like you're listening to me so close. Thank you. She's pretty sure I'm talking to her. Am I telling you a story? Hope this encourages somebody that you can't just be like on all the time. Like at some point you will burn out. So take care of yourself, learn from my mistakes. Um, I need to learn from my mistakes too, but I'm working on it. We are a work in progress. She sleeps like it's her job. <laughs> it is Saturday, October 23rd, uh, 31st. Whoa, it's Halloween today. I hope people come for the candy that I got, otherwise I will have to suffer through eating it all. It will be a really big hardship. <laughs> oh man. I think I dreamt about candy last night. You, okay, well that is a view right there. Let me just censor you. <laughs> No modesty whatsoever. <laughs> it distracts me in, a, in the best way. I am all over the place today. So let's see, what was I even saying? It's Saturday. Normally this would be like a full work day for me, but what I'm realizing through this vlog actually, I guess I'm just trying to be more aware of it really, is that feeling of burnout. I didn't intend for this vlog to be kind of about burnout, but essentially you got to see what I do and how I handle it and how I kind of pay attention to that. To wrap up this last day of vlogging, I'm gonna share what I ended up doing last night, which is hilariously not what I said. And then I will share what I have done today and what I'm going to keep working on. And spoiler, I'm actually going to most likely not do everything that I thought I was gonna do today and take it easy because again, I'm starting to feel a little bit burnt out. And I don't know, like I think a little bit of it is laziness and just wanting to have a whole weekend off for once, but I think some of it's also burnout. And so I'm gonna listen to that. So last night I ended up realizing that I had my face on and I was looking cute and I might as well use that half hour of time to film a video. So I ended up filming the fastest video I've ever done, I think. It was like 20 minutes total on all the different cool features in Word and tips and tricks for writing in Microsoft Word that most people don't seem to know about. So that video will probably be coming up before this one and I will link it below so you can check it out if you'd like. I was going to also film fast drafting today, but I think I'm going to save that for either tomorrow or Monday. But either way, that'll probably be out before this video as well, because this video is going to be really intensive to edit. It's already two hours long and it's not even done yet. Um, so yeah, so the fast drafting one, I will link that below too if you're curious, because it'll probably come out before this one. And then I was originally going to edit the last five chapters and send the next round to betas, but oh, I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna try to edit at least two or three, and then if I need to, I'm gonna just take it easy and say, you know what, I'll finish the rest on Monday. I'm still a work in progress, you guys. Let me know if you relate, because I know there are others out there <laughs> like me who just are like, there's always something else I could be doing. Anyway, today so far I have exercise because I'm really trying hard to get back to that. Looked at a contract with my parents, actually I called them and I was like, guys, help me, I need help. So we went through this cool contract that I'm really excited about and I can't share the project just yet, but I'm excited to share with you soon. And I think after I finish at least two chapters of editing, I'm gonna reward myself with working on the merch. I've been working on creating my store and so what I'm having is actually decision fatigue because I don't know why I waited this long to do merch because not only do I have my book stuff, which I would like to do, I think, but also this cute, cute Corgi merch going on. The future bestseller, future bestselling author design that I made for last month's care package could also go on a t-shirt. So what I'm probably going to do is start out smaller because I don't want to overwhelm you guys or myself. And I will start out with the exciting Christmas designs. Whew, I mean, it's just, it feels so far away to me right now. Like it's hard to picture my store being open and these designs actually being sold. But by the time you're seeing this video, it will basically be done. It will be done, which is such a cool thought. I don't know, I'm super excited. And the next video that you'll see, because I am ordering this stuff for myself, will obviously be an unboxing video. Or wait, wait, what's it called? A try on haul. When you're like trying on stuff, yeah. And uh, let's end this video by zooming in on the cute little puppy face. 
You are the cutest. Hi, baby. Bye, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye.